Is this the factory worker of the future? Chinese startup Kepler Robotics just unveiled its new AI-powered humanoid robot, the Forerunner K2. Noting that Tesla is on the verge of mass producing its Optimus humanoid robot, Kepler said the K2 robot is on an accelerated track toward commercialization. According to the Shanghai-based firm, the robot has entered the testing phase in actual customer environments. The Forerunner K2 has a reported 52 degrees of freedom. The dexterity puts the K2 in the same league as NASA's Robonaut R2, which was designed for complex and precise tasks in space. It's also in the same range as the GR2 from fellow China-based robotics firm Fourier. The K2 has 11 degrees of freedom per hand, which is the same as the Generation 2 Tesla bought. However, a next-generation iteration of the Optimus hand reportedly has 22 degrees of freedom, which Elon Musk has said allows it to perform virtually any task a human can do. The K2 can carry up to 15 kilos or 33 pounds in each hand. New tactile sensors, including 96 contact points on each fingertip, enhance precision. The launch comes less than a year after Kepler introduced its first-generation humanoid, the Forerunner K1. The Gen 2 bot upgrades include improved dynamic perception, task planning, full body movement coordination, and autonomous learning. Improvements to the robot's gait planning and stability control make it more dependable in complex settings. With its 8-hour battery life, the K2 is geared toward industrial tasks like intelligent manufacturing, logistics, and high-risk operations. It uses proprietary planetary roller screw actuators in its arms and legs. They provide up to 8,000 newtons or almost 1,800 pounds force of thrust. This level of thrust is enough to lift heavy industrial components like large machine parts and steel beams. China is stepping up its efforts to lead the global humanoid robotics market. According to China Daily, local and central governments are pooling their resources as the country aims to mass-produce humanoids in 2025 and corner the market by 2027. Officials just elevated the Beijing Embodied Artificial Intelligence Robotics Innovation Center, or Humanoid, to a national-level research hub. That means the center, established in November 2023, will receive funding from Beijing as well as the central government to accelerate research and development. Earlier this year, the center introduced Tian Kang, a general-purpose humanoid robot with an open-source and open-architecture design to encourage further innovation and development. Standing 1.6 meters and weighing 43 kilos, the AI robot is fully electric and features cutting-edge flexible sensors and actuators. The center, the first of its kind in China, said it will use the increased funding to establish industry standards, reduce R&D costs for enterprises, expand use cases, and accelerate the product development. The ultimate goal is to make humanoid robots essential in industries like manufacturing and logistics. The center is also speeding up work on its Kaiwu platform, which will combine more than 100 key skills to handle complex tasks. They're also building a national dataset with more than 1 million entries, open for the whole industry to use for improving AI systems, training robots, and developing better technologies across different fields. China Daily reports that, since the beginning of the year, manufacturing provinces like Zhejiang, Shandong, Anhui, and Sichuan have also set up innovation centers. The Zhejiang Humanoid Robot Innovation Center recently showcased its Navi Navigator 2, which features a reported 41 degrees of freedom. The center is primarily funded by Subcon, which specializes in intelligent manufacturing and industrial automation. And in May, a new humanoid innovation center in Shanghai was built with national and city funding. The National Local Joint Humanoid Robot Innovation Center recently unveiled its full-sized general-purpose humanoid robot, Kinglong, featuring a reported 43 degrees of freedom. The open-source robot's hardware structure and related technologies are being shared through the OpenLoon community. 中国的人性机器人相关的产业、相关企业、相关的开发者都可以在这个基础上深度开发、持续迭代。我们可以在这种线上设计上把所有的中国的相关的力量都聚集起来，解决一些共性的关键的技术。Meanwhile, Fulin Precision, an auto parts company, has partnered with Agibot and others to form a company that will build humanoid robots in Chengdu. This venture aims to produce robots that can do human-like tasks, with Fulin providing key parts for the robots. The joint venture helped increase Fulin's stock value because of its potential in the fast-growing robotics industry. Ajibot, 
founded by former Huawei youth genius Peng Zhui, introduced its line of advanced AI robots earlier this year. The company is also known as Jiwan Robot. Its flagship, the Expedition A2, has 40 degrees of freedom and is equipped with sensors like cameras, LiDAR, and microphones to interact with dynamic environments. It's designed for tasks requiring extreme precision, such as threading a needle, and is ideal for roles in customer service and business consulting. Edgebot plans to deliver 300 AI robots by the end of the year, with plans to commercialize them next year, targeting the manufacturing sector. The humanoid robot line also includes the Expedition A2W, designed for flexible manufacturing tasks. It can carry up to 5 kilograms in each arm with 7 degrees of freedom and is wheeled for swift movement in industrial settings. And a heavier-duty version, the A2 Max, that carries heavy objects and boasts 67 degrees of fully body freedom. Its legs can exert 8,800 newtons of thrust, enough to lift a small car, and its 450 newton meters of torque can tighten large bolts or turn cranks. This is UB Tech's new humanoid robot carrying a heavy parcel while walking smoothly on a treadmill. The load is 16.3 kilos, or just under 36 pounds, about the weight of a typical countertop microwave. The leading Chinese robotics company just unveiled its Walker S1 AI robot, developed in partnership with industry giants like BYD, Audi, Volkswagen's Qingdao branch, Geely Auto, Foxconn, Hongqi, Dongfeng, and SF Express. According to UB Tech, the Walker S1 possesses advanced AI with agility to perform tricky tasks with great control and balance. Its camera system provides 360-degree safety monitoring, while its hands have special sensors to grip and hold things with just the right amount of force. UB Tech says the Walker S1's multitask execution capabilities position it as a leading humanoid for generalized industrial tasks. UB Tech introduced its Walker robot line back in 2018. If you ever wanted your own robot buddy best friend, well, that reality is now possible. This is a walking bipedal robot from UB Tech aiming to come out in 2019. Not only can it be a companion in your home, but also security guard, a butler, a nanny, a dance partner, even a soccer partner. The original Walker was a bipedal humanoid robot designed primarily to showcase the company's recent advancements in AI and robotics. The first iterations were geared toward home and office assistance applications. Around 2020, UB Tech began shifting the Walker line's purpose toward more versatile uses. The first Walker S model emerged in 2022 as a direct response to growing demand for industrial robotics. Robots from UB Tech's Walker line have been deployed at factories like Zeker's 5G Smart Factory and the Fa Volkswagen plant in Qingdao. Fourier just shared this cheeky footage of its advanced AI robot, the GR2, in the beginning of its bodybuilding journey. In the video, the humanoid robot goes nuts with a pair of adjustable dumbbells that presumably weigh 6.5 kilos or 14.3 pounds each. For a human, curling that much in each hand is relatively light, especially for regular weight trainers. For a humanoid robot, though, it's notable as it requires highly advanced strength and dexterity. While a robot weight training might seem like a farce, it has valuable applications. For example, the GR2 could assist patients performing strength training exercises for physical rehab, which is a particularly strong domain for Fourier. Founded in 2015, Shanghai-based Fourier initially focused on rehab technology. As Fourier gained a reputation for pushing boundaries, the company ventured into humanoid robotics. When Fourier introduced its first-generation humanoid, the GR1, in 2022, they leaned heavily into patient care. Fourier's rehab division offers Rehab Hub, a platform that integrates devices for walking, standing, and balance improvement, along with Metamodus Galileo, a lower-body exoskeleton system to help patients regain strength and mobility. Fourier introduced its second-generation humanoid earlier in October, emphasizing its high torque rating and 53 degrees of freedom. Its 380 newton meters of torque is enough to lift patients into wheelchairs, move furniture, and operate industrial tools. In a video posted on Fourier's website, the robot is seen performing tasks at an SAICGM facility in China. The GR1 had 300 newton meters for torque, which is sufficient for lifting its own weight, but offered much less power than the GR2. Fourier says the GR2 has 12 degrees of freedom in its hand. That's the same as NASA's Robonaut R2 which is designed for precise tasks in space. 
Fourier's advanced actuation system provides precise control of the robot. Each joint in the GR2 is powered by a flexible series actuator unit specifically tuned to meet its unique torque demands. According to Fourier, the system's dual encoder system doubles control accuracy so the robot can perform high-precision tasks even in challenging environments. Compared to the GR1, Fourier's latest robot actually has one less degree of freedom. Humanoid robot designs strike a balance between complexity and practicality. With the reduction, the Gen 2 robot may have gained enhancements in strength, stability, or battery efficiency. This is Jaka K1, a new humanoid robot designed for high-precision tasks ranging from electronics assembly to surgical assistance. China-based Jaka Robotics just unveiled the AI robot at the China International Industry Fair in Shanghai. Standing 1.8 meters, the K1 has 29 movable joints and 14 degrees of freedom in its arms. The robot uses high-tech sensors, including depth cameras and touch sensors, to see its surroundings and carefully handle objects. With six-dimensional force control, the robot feels and reacts to pressure from any direction. This helps the K1 avoid applying too much pressure during delicate tasks. Jaka says the robot learns from its surroundings with its advanced AI, making real-time decisions to adapt as needed. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.